distinguished guests of the Union, guests, friends, I welcome you to the 110th annual dinner of the Black Rock College Union. I welcome the presidents, the representatives of our other like-minded unions, and in particular our spirit colleges, and bearing in mind the year that is in it, last but not least, tearing your courage. Special thanks to the college, the president, Father Cormac, and the community for the use of this amazing facility. I also thank the captain and her staff for the wonderful meal. I particularly like to thank Jerry Malloy and Mark Allen for their hard work in organising this day. Peter and Andrew Hanley from Hanley Event Group for all their advice and also if you look around you at the, the decor in the room and in St. Patrick's Corridor, they are responsible for that. I, I just wonder what they have planned for the 150th next year. I also, I also would like to thank Paul Gardner and our committee for all their help and support during the year and on a personal level, I also thank my friends for their support. This has been a remarkable year for me. And I think that the start the Camino gave me really was incredible. We raised an incredible sum of money, as Stephen has mentioned. And it raised us up in many ways, not least of all personally. As Stephen said, we raised in excess of 100,000 euros. And we did that essentially Obama style, which was in, in small pieces. Ordinary people doing extraordinary things. I think it's appropriate that as we did the final balances on the account uh, during the week, that tonight that, uh, uh, some of my fellow pilgrims will actually present the cheques to the Blue and White and to the Mission Fund. So we call upon Philip Elliott, who should be down at the end of the hall there somewhere, if he could please give the cheque to Ian White, who needs to stand here for her. Very well rehearsed this, as you can see. I also asked Noel O'Sullivan. Noel was our most senior alumni from the class of 1957. And he was content to check. And he was content to check to Tony and Rosa. I think it's particularly fitting that Philip Elliott presents checks to Blue and White, because Blue and White does the support group, just recognize, uh, uh, recognize the fact that we support the wider Black Rock College Union family. Philip was not sent here by his parents, but he chose Rock and he sent his four boys here, and they're super ambassadors for the college. Thank you, Philip. <laughs> Lastly, uh, representing Cross Cancer Research, I'd like to present Ronan Murphy here with a cheque for 15,000 euros. Thank you very much. Our present and our future are very important to us here in Blackrock College. And we have entrusted them to Alan McGinty and his incredible staff. I want to thank Alan for allowing the union to be part of the, the college activities and putting us at the centre of them and we should not take that for granted. The union is here because the college wants us to be here. The pastoral element in rock has to be seen to be believed. And for me it is symbolised by a man who joined rock some 60 years ago. And he went on to become our foremost historian, author, archivist and photographer. And at the annual general meeting later on this year, I will present Sean Farrer with the President's Award. Yes, you club here beside you. You also saw it yeah. as, as you came up St. Patrick's Corridor. 
it's back home again. Yeah. Probably some of the most incredible tries. I was actually in Bolivia at the time, so I'm sorry I wasn't there. Oh, shame, shame. I'd like to congratulate Frank I'd like to congratulate Frank Hacken, the college. And I'd also like to congratulate the team themselves on winning the sixth six. I think one of the most important things for us was not only did they win the cup, but they won it in style. And I think the greatest compliment that anybody could pay to them was that they won it the way that we used to win the cup. So I congratulate you for that. <laughs> It is important that we win this trophy every now and then. When the flag flies high above the top tower, it means that everything is all right with the world, that there's a certain equilibrium here in the college. We are indeed a rugby playing school, but not exclusively. It's one of the many, many sports that we play here. As Father Cormac mentioned, from rowing to cricket to tennis. And also the diversity, the evidence of the diversity is that on St. Patrick's Day, when Blackrock College were winning the FCT Cup, Kilmacud Croaks with five rock men won the All-Ireland Club Championship. Yeah. I'd like to welcome the Union Dinner as well. It's not just the Union Annual Dinner. And I'd like to welcome the Castle. And we're celebrating their 55 years, their 45 years, their 35 years, 25 and 15. <laughs> I'd also particularly like to thank Gabby McGuire for packing us the hall here tonight. for coming here to support me tonight. And my two brothers, John, from the class of 1972, and my brother Liam, down at the very end, my chief seats, and Liam from the class of 1969. Thank you very much. Over the last few years, it's become traditional to have a raffle here this evening. I know that you've, 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 you've done your piece here this evening. But the money is divided between the Rock Charities, the Mission Fund and the Blue and White Fund. And those, that you, those of you that know me know that it is the charities themselves of the Black Rock College Union that drove me deeper into the union over the years. And perhaps even the reason that I'm here to see you as your president. As a Christian organization, we have an obligation to help others. And charitable works are a natural byproduct of the union, and so they should be. So where exactly does your money go and how do we spend it? <coughs> Essentially, we help those that help the poor. Loneliness and the feeling of isolation is perhaps the greatest poverty of them all. And that's where the Blue and White Support Group comes in by providing support, guidance, friendship and assistance, and in some cases, even financial assistance. It's not all about money, but it's a part of it. The Blue and White helps those that feel they can't help themselves to help themselves. Those of you who have seen the newsletter, those of you who haven't are still sitting on it, <laughs> would have seen that recognising the times that we live in, we've appointed five new trustees to the, to the Blue and White. They represent in ages from their late 50s to their early 30s. Four of them are here to see me. I'm sure you all know them. No. You will. <laughs> the union must be representative of the whole union. 